<laughs> hey, what's up guys? It's Brian here, Brian's All Maintenance. Hey, today we're gonna be showing off Brandon's new dump trailer. Check it out. I can't wait to show you guys a quick in-depth walkthrough. When we were at Kelly and Sons uh, just a couple days ago, uh, we had to ush, uh, rush out of there really quick. They had a bunch of uh, deliveries coming in. So Brandon wanted to do a more in-depth walkthrough and just show you guys his brand new Pride and Joy. You ready to do it? Yeah, let's do it. Cause I had a lot of guys even message me on Instagram asking about this trailer. So I figured, you know, hey, why not? Let's give somebody a good in-depth video. Walk around? Uh, yep, on a good walk around. So let's do it, brother. All right, let's do it. We'll see you guys inside. <laughs> All right, so we're just gonna rip it, man. Uh, this right here has been a upgrade that you've been looking to do for for since probably last basically summer. Basically since I got started. Yep. This is kind of like my ideal upgrade. I didn't think it happened this quick. Yep. I'm thankful it did. Um, so basically, this is the seven by 14 sure track dump trailer. Okay. Uh, so just a quick walk around. Um, right here, I will we'll open up. You got all your controls in here. You know, you're up and down for the dump body, your battery. Um, right here, we got our 110 volt battery charger. So you can always keep it plugged in at night? Yeah, well, no. Basically, you know, when this battery's running out of juice, you can plug it back in, recharge it. But from my understanding, okay. is when you're plugged into the seven way here, um, it's constantly like flowing juice into that battery. So that's good. Cool. Um, then obviously we got our telescoping lift, which is like top of the line uh, for the dump trailers. Um, obviously we got our spare tire mount. Um, we got our 12 inch um, extended sides. So I think like the trailer depth on the inside is like three feet. Three feet, yeah, yeah. like 29 inches or something like that. Um, it's a stout little trailer. Well, let me ask you this. Why did you go with this trailer, which by the way, uh, you put a chunk down and you're gonna pay it off in two months. Right, yeah. Um, you can pay cash for it right now if you wanted. Right. But it's just, I just losing a little bit of leverage. Um, what made you go with this versus your other trailer? Because you have a 7x14 utility that you just sold. I had the 7x16. So I did or take 16. like a, yeah, a lot okay. of you guys, uh, they do, I believe, sell these in the 7x16, at least sure track. Um, but a lot of guys say get the 7x14 and that's pretty standard, pretty popular. So that's what I went with. I didn't need the extra two foot realistically. Right. This is more popular. Right, but basically the reason being is, um, you know, with this here, we got our um, barn and uh, spreader gate. So like if I wanted to do an extra service and offer like, uh, you know, doing gravel driveways, I can, you know, get a bunch of 21 AA, put it in the back open up the spreader gate, put the dump up, and I could spread everything evenly across rather than, you know, have a big pile dumped, uh, move everything around with equipment. So that was a nice addition. Well, let's show them the doors while we do this. Yeah, yeah. Because I think this is really cool. I didn't know it did both. So your utility trailer, it was good. It helped you out. You did a lot it with great. it. was great. I love that trailer. Um, like I said, I just didn't have use for it. It didn't make sense for me. It could be used as like an equipment trailer in a sense, you know, sure. smaller equipment, um, but, Basically, was I was spending countless hours unloading that trailer by sure. hand, and that sure. was you know the tough part. So this is a huge addition for me, and like I said too, I can add additional services because now I can rent equipment that I couldn't do with the 1500. Well, now you can haul equipment too. Right? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Haul. You know, yep. haul and rent equipment. Um, and now I, even I can take on bigger jobs too because I don't have to worry about unloading anything, everything by hand, you Let know me, what I mean? Or running uh, yeah. like a dumpster, you know what I mean? Well, not only, all, all that is really good too, but an additional to that was, now you can haul a lot more product, whatever exactly. it is. Like yep. your, your utility trailer, we would load it up with what, six to nine yards at a time, maybe? Of mulch? No. Of with, mulch. Of mulch with the, uh, utility. with the utility, I think I was only getting um, about five, six, Oh like wow! Good yard, like a solid five, six yards in there. This easily six to nine yards. Yeah. Uh, for this dump trailer, and that's not if you don't build a uh, higher walls on it. You know, right. you go a little crazy. Exactly. Yeah. Which, which you might, we'll see. You know, depending right. on the and season goes. Like, I don't know how much mulch weighs per yard. Obviously, it is wet or not. Um, but you know, obviously, the capacity of this is ten thousand four hundred pounds. So who knows? You know, how much mulch I could actually put in here if I built up. Yeah. But um, way more capacity either which way. Right. Way totally. more. Way more than the utility. Right. Because I know this is a really cool. Feature. So we gotta put the handle all the way out because there is a locking mechanism down in there. Um, so obviously, you lift it around. You got chains to lock into the side. So obviously when you're dumping, 
um, you want to make sure everything is fastened up and ready to go. Right, because if you, from what we understand, don't have the doors locked in and it goes down, you're going to dent your doors. And what did they say? How much was the door? 500. <laughs> Probably easily that. Yeah, they said each hinge and door was 500. Is that what they said? Yeah, okay, what, uh, yeah, and we don't like spending what, a couple hundred bucks, you know, just to fix equipment. No, so. no. It's always safety first, not this even is, that, but just running through everything and make sure everything's ready to go. You know, one thing I really like, uh, personally, is the D-rings. I love that there are the tie-downs. Yep, yeah, we got five in the dump trailer. trailer. I think if there's something that I would have preferred on my dump insert for the salt dog, the dumper dog, um, was D-rings. I'd like- probably get some- I could probably get some welded in, right, and fabricated yeah, in, in. Which, which I might, because there's no tie downs for my uh, snow blowers. Sure. So I put a pallet of wood in there, so right. things wouldn't shuffle around. Okay. But I love the D rings incorporated into the dump, even though it's a dump. Right. You can still, like you said, haul. That would be it. cool though if they did that with the dump inserts. I, I, you know, need the. You know, maybe not as heavy duty, but you know. Oh no, absolutely. I mean, look at these things. This is a great tie down spot. Like you said, when you're hauling or, I mean, putting almost anything in there. Right. We got our integrated roll-off tarp. Uh, that's an 18-foot tarp. I'm not sure if you can buy, like, a bigger tarp for these. I would assume so. You know, if you got, like, a heaping pile. Sure. You know what I mean? In the back. Um, so that was, like, a thought of mine. I was like, oh, am I able to get, like, a 20-foot tarp for this? Hmm. Um, but here, we'll shut these up. And then we'll show everybody the spreading gauge. Yeah, I, I am really blown away at the um, the dual feature of the gate. Because I thought originally it was just barn door style. And I did not know that it can turn into a spreader gate. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what I really liked about this too. Just to have, you know, the versatility of doing both. Kelly and Sons. Are you excited overall? I'm very excited. I'm excited about your I'm game, bro. Get out work. Right. Uh, okay, so. Okay. So you can lock here, it if you want. All right, so you got the barn style door, and yep. then you got the the dump style, the spreader, the spreading spreader. gate. Yep. So what we do is we lift up the pin, uh, we unlatch from here, and get everything lined up, obviously. These pins. And then you can adjust the width of your spread. So you know, here we'll show people if we take these chains off. Obviously, you know, I'm sure this gate would pivot, you know, to a 90. Yep. You know what I mean? Yep. Um, but check that out. That is awesome. As far as mulch, like we would just open up these doors, the barn doors, and dump our load. Sure. But, you know, if we were doing a gravel driveway, you know, we could, you know, let's say we had five tons uh, in the back of this bed, we could open up this gate. And you know, Let's if we wanted thing forward. six inches of spread or so, you know, just hook this I love the chain dual. in there. I love the dual design. Yeah, it's real nice. And then obviously, that's all you get. Okay. You know what I mean? Right, so right. So you can adjust it. But you know, then you just lift that dump as you go and you can spread that gravel evenly. Yep. You know, through the whole course of the path. Makes sense. So there's a dual like locking pin design here, as you guys can see. This is when it's locked uh, and the gate's closed and it's got the, uh, the lever system here. And then similarly, it can lock up top when you want to keep it in that position. That way this hinge doesn't get in the way when it's right. in the lock position. And what I really liked when I was doing my research on this trailer too, are these stabilizers that we got on each side. Okay. So when we're loading equipment, you know, before you load up like a skisser or even, you know, a tractor, you uh, show everybody. Drop it down. Yep, drop the stabilizers. Oh, okay. And then, uh, you know, when you pull out your ramps, um, obviously, from underneath here where our ramps are stored, okay. um, when you're loading up the, the equipment, keeps it from it's less um you know wear and tear on the vehicle too from that down pressure of loading up oh. you know your bobcat skits your whatever it might be i like it um so that's nice i like that a lot uh, obviously with these ramps they are stored underneath i know a lot of the trailers you'll see like on the older ones they're stored on the side sure um so i really like that a lot and i think this comes with uh seven foot ramps seven foot yep sweet I just think it's a sharp trailer, man, overall. This is a huge upgrade for you. I know a lot of you guys have dump trailers. If you do, leave me a comment down below. Let me know which size you guys have and how dump trailers have been working out for you guys. I think it's pretty cool. It is nice. And that, I know uh, uh, Sue was telling us at the dealer that uh, if you guys do have this trailer or you do decide to purchase it, make sure that this pin 
is all the way through. Is all the way through, because if you're bouncing around, this pin will come out, and you know people can obviously lose their gate. Yep. Or excuse me, lose their ramp. Yep. But uh, push it through one more time. I'll show everybody. So this little pin has yep. to be through the little one by one, two by right. two. Yep. So that's way it stops from coming out. Correct. So you got the ramps built in underneath. Yep. Which is cool. So if you want, I mean, we could even pull out a ramp. You pull, know, pull out one. Pull out one ramp. Let's see how. Okay. Obviously, we have to open the doors, but Look just a basic understanding. That is awesome, man. It's awesome making making gains and growing your company, dude. Yeah. I'm really proud of you, man. Well, this that's is, it too. This is huge. Is you know now I can offer more services, and like that's the main reason why I bought this trailer. Because if I couldn't do anything more with it, um, you know I wouldn't have bought it. But obviously now I can make more money for my company and grow the business and have extra service offerings. Sure. Well, let's uh, let's uh, take it up and down once or twice. Okay. Because I want to show people that under uh, under belly yeah. storage. Yeah, we got a, that is uh, awesome. A tool storage underneath, and yeah. that was. Something I like a lot too. So little gem. That is really convenient. I do like that. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. And then uh you wanna know. take it up? Yep. Come on. Well here let's lock the gate. Yep, gotta make sure everything's locked in. And this is a 7x14. Yep. 14k. Correct, yep. Cool. And you could go bigger, but because they have like the scissor, uh, the scissor lift, they have like the dual ram. Um, and this is the telescoping ram. This is the telescoping. Yep. This is kind of the sure track um, flag flagship uh, dump trailer, if you will. Right. Yep. And then obviously you got like your integrated staff, tie down. Um, I love tarp. these. I love these. Roll your tarp up right here. Absolutely. You got your tie downs. Yeah. This so. is really cool. There you go. And then lock it back. Kind of like on my dump insert. I like it. Exactly. You want to take it up and down? And um, I know Sue was telling us too. They said, uh, like, if you guys do lift these dumps up, it is better to actually just take it all the way up for the load. Let it um, cycle. Instead of going like halfway. You okay. know, yeah, let it cycle through completely. Makes sense. So, and then, two, check this out. This is like another safety thing just to keep, uh, you know, the deck attached down to the frame yep so every time before you you know raise up the deck you gotta uh, undo chain. this chain yep it's a safety chain I like it one thing uh, too that I wanted to uh, point out was the fact that you needed to upgrade your drop when you bought this trailer right yep. um, of course you got the 2500 now uh, which people just saw but this is a solid That's shank a solid piece. drop yeah so exactly. i don't know the rating on this but the other one that you have was hollow this is a twelve thousand pound rating okay your other one was only rated for like five thousand pounds i think because it was hollow right yeah so you need a bigger uh drop and uh, a solid shank to pull this and that was the thing too is like you know i'm still learning and not knowing any better like my old uh hitch yep was only rated for five thousand pounds exactly and I was loaded up multiple times um, to the max yep. and like not knowing. So, I mean, good thing I spotted that and it says 12,000 pounds. So who sure. knows, maybe I'll buy another one and get a, uh, you know, make sure one's rated for 14,000 pounds, if not more. Sure. You know what I mean? Just to be safe. Absolutely. But uh, cool, let's lift this thing up. So there's a battery in here where you can always charge it with a the plug, right. but it should uh, charge off the truck. And then you got your, your hydraulic fluid and your pump here. Right. And you know what, too, is like, I'm like super cautious and like you always gotta expect the worst. I make sure I stand back because you never know if this thing came up and you know slams you and hits you in the jaw, you know what I mean? I'm gonna take That's another gonna five take feet back. Day, right? <laughs> take my five feet. That is awesome. This is gonna make unloading a breeze. Yeah. You know? Well, that, yeah. Spring and fall cleanups. That, well, not even that, but like, now I don't gotta sit at the dump and hold people up for an hour. Absolutely, know? absolutely. Five minutes of my time. Wow. That is so there cool. Is. That is so cool, man. Good for you. And then, 
Let's just not step underneath it for yeah, safety. Yeah, well, so you, we do got this here. So, like, obviously. Oh, you have your safety bar. Yeah, there are, I think there's like 17 uh, Zerk fittings on here, hub fittings uh, to do any greasing. So, um, they say to do it like every three months, but obviously with all the working parts, if you're using this trailer and you're dumping every day, yep. do it like, you know, Once every week. week yeah. You know what I mean? Just to be safe, because that was kind of my rule of thumb, even with equipment. So, um, obviously we can't do it right now. We'd have to lower this down a little bit, but just to give you guys a general idea, this sits well and tight into here nice. to keep the, uh, the bed up. But, um, yeah, so, I like this the tool what storage. I liked a lot was being able to put tools. A lot of you guys in really were storage space. A lot of folks were commenting on this on Instagram, yeah, saying yeah. that this is something that they, they like with their dump trailer. Right, and it's safety too. You know, you don't got to worry about anybody stealing your tools. And now I don't got to leave everything in the bed of my truck. Oh you sure. Know what I mean, sure. Or even attach uh, racks and mounts to the to the actual totally. dump. Totally. Yep. Nice man. So that was nice. Yeah. Another thing I really like is the fact that with this, uh, they have the setback jack, of course, but then you also have the option to drop this uh, platform down about 12 inches with that pin versus sitting here cranking it all day right. that's something that i really appreciate in my enclosed yeah. trailer and with this too is um we have this adjustable i want to say you know coupler lock whatever it might be so you can adjust the setting as needed that way uh, when you get a lift in the chevy age. right when you get the lift no 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 lift the chevy here. <laughs> no, no more lifts no, <laughs> no more, li more lifts expensive yeah I'll expensive and no car washes wear and tear. yeah and no car washes. no car washes Correct. that's cool man no i think it's uh it's really sharp man this is uh a huge upgrade for you. I'm excited for you. I know uh, a lot of folks probably appreciate walk arounds like this, especially when they're shopping for a trailer like yeah, this of their own. Yeah, this time of year, everybody's looking to make upgrades, you know what I mean? A absolutely, absolutely. I think one thing that's really cool, and we were shooting some messages back and forth this morning via text, was eventually maybe getting some signage uh, on these boards here of that die bond. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think I'm gonna do that with my dump insert um, on the side. That way I don't have to put stickers or vinyl right. on the windows or the paint because yep. they just fade so quick. Um, so if you guys have uh, any signage on the side, uh, let us know. Shoot us some messages on Instagram uh, or leave us a comment. How is that held up? Because uh, that's something I think would make a lot of sense. Are you going to paint the boards? Well, see, that was the thought at first because, you know, as we were discussing, coming back from getting the trailer was, you know, how can I put some signs on here? Yeah. Uh, so I was thinking of like, hey, I'll just like paint the sides and then get like a stencil, you know what I mean? And just paint oh, on yeah. the side. But uh, like the sign I had on my old trailer, it was the dive bottom material and that's like top of line material. Yeah. Um, especially for outdoor and, you know, with the weathering and stuff like that. Couldn't be so, 200 bucks. No, you know, right, yeah. Maybe 100, 200 bucks. So I'll get one for this side, you know, company name, the phone number at minimum. I don't really need to list, or, uh, list any services and I'll do the same for the other side. Sure. Plus, I'll have the uh, the decal on this back window pretty soon too. I like it, man, awesome. All right, well, we're gonna wrap this up because there's uh, it's about 12 degrees out right now. We're freezing cold. Yeah, we got some wind storms coming <laughs> We got some wind soon. coming, so. <laughs> but um, let us know, leave us a comment down below. Shoot this guy uh, an encouraging word if you guys are proud of him like I am because this is gonna be a game changer for him. Totally. Uh, which is really cool so congratulations well, not even it too is you know great now you got access to it mike's got access to it you Just, know yeah well it's kind of like one of those things where <laughs> one of you guys were uh, messaging me on instagram i said hey brandon got a dump trailer i'm like it's like when somebody gets a pool in the neighborhood right the neighborhood gets a pool yeah right totally <laughs> do you agree <laughs> yeah no i get it <laughs> so though everybody gets uh, a dump trailer call brandon his numbers out his truck yeah. no. all right guys well if you enjoyed this one shoot a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you guys are new and if you guys wanted to see some other videos make sure you check out the different cards here Guys, we'll catch you on the next one. See you guys.